Okay, welcome back to part 16 of the Sunday Drive. I think it's 16. We hope it's 16. Where I drive around and talk about shit that came to my mind. Some of it Sarah says is bullshit. I think she's bullshit. And she can't say anything because I'm recording and I told her not to. So, uh, what was the thing? Also, I might as well start with it now that I brought it up. Uh, I was watching some dude down the sidewalk. And it was raining pretty hard. And he was... He had an umbrella. A, a rather small one. So, I'll preface this by saying... This mostly works for... I'm mostly talking about guys and people with small umbrellas. So, it's a small... It's a small faction. But it depends on how hard it's raining and how hard the wind is. But... What is the point of an umbrella when it only covers your head and your upper body? The two parts of your thing of your body that you can cover up with a hat and a raincoat so that when you got to work you or when you got to wherever you went, you could just take your hat and your raincoat off and then your whole body would be dry. But no, not when it's fucking raining sideways because now your pants and your shoes are completely fucking soaked. And unless you're bringing around another pair of shoes, another pair of pants, what's the point? Sarah thought this is the completely dumbest fucking idea of all time. I died immediately. Jesus Christ. That's why I don't get on the fucking motorcycles. Sarah thought it was idiotic. Which, I mean, I can kind of understand, but kind of not, really. Because if I have an umbrella, and my pants are still getting fucking soaked, what's the point? Because, in my opinion, I'd rather have my upper body and my shirt fucking soaked than my pants soaked. Because I don't want my pants to be soaked. Or, my, or shoes, for that matter. I guess you could have waterproof shoes. Who on an everyday basis wears waterproof shoes to work? Nobody. Unless you're like a fucking construction worker or something. Oh my God. Hey. So, that's my opinion on umbrellas. It is what it is. If you're gonna get an umbrella and you're not gonna get a huge one, then you're just wasting your time. How about that? If you get one of those umbrellas that's like the width of your shoulders, this, this, it serves no purpose. Cause your whole rest of your body is gonna get fucking soaked. But if you got makeup on, like Sarah was saying, I guess I can understand that. But there's waterproof makeup. Probably not waterproof from getting blasted by the wind at 20 miles an hour in the rain, but, you know. Uh, there was, uh, I think one other dumbass thing that came to my head. Which really isn't dumbass, it's just dumbass why they would fucking design it like this. On my computer, whenever it goes to 20%, it goes in, like, power saving mode, which I could probably turn it off, but I don't. It goes into power saving mode. And it turns the volume down and it turns the brightness down. Well, when it does that, I just turn them back up. So I turn the brightness back up. That has no, there's no problem with that. But the volume, directly next to the volume up button, is the goddamn closed window button. And I swear about <clears throat> maybe 30 to 40% of the time, I close the, the whole window. Which might not seem like that big of a problem, but it annoys the fuck out of me. You did it. Why, why wouldn't they just put the closed window button? Over, like, over next, like, one over. The one next to me, I don't even know what the F6, F5 button is. Oh, I gotta sneeze bad. I don't even know what the F5 button is. So you can just put it there. I would never accidentally hit it. I would never even hit it, because when am I going to hit the close window button? In case, unless, like, I'm watching porn and Sarah walks in, I need to close the window really quick. Which, at that point, I'm probably going to end up hitting the uh, volume up button, which would make it even worse. You know, so the buttons, the button layout on these Lenovo's just makes no sense to me. None. It makes no sense. Uh, I bought a new travel backpack. Nice. Bought it with some gift cards we got for our wedding stuff. Uh, I'm scrolling through my shit because I wrote it kind of all cattywonker. Oh, uh, I brought back my, in the winter, I, like, I have a little uh, money tree and I, bring it back to my parents house in the winter because the fucking cat just wants to eat it and it can't sit, so it sits outside during the summer because it doesn't get cold enough to really hurt it during this during the night but during the summer I mean but during the winter I can't keep it outside all my frames are trapped so hard right there so then I, when I brought it home today not today but a couple weeks like a week ago I had to bring it inside because it was getting stormy and windy and it would blow over but I bring it in and the cat it immediately just stares at it I bring it in, he's staring at it the whole time. I put it up on the shelf where he can't get to it. He tries, though. He's just staring at it for, like, 10 minutes. And then he walks a little bit closer to it, sits, like, right under it, stares at it for, like, another 15. Just the whole time staring at it. Like, what does he have against this fucking plant? He's eating it. He's eating leaves. 
He's eaten entire leaves. He's pulled shit ton of leaves off it before. He knows what it is. Why is he, like, so mad at it that he wants to just, like, fucking eat it? It's just a plant, you know? I don't understand Cass' desires to just... Maybe he just wants to dig in the dirt, which I guess is understandable. But just to eat the plant? I... He's just eating random things? Like, how, how are Cass still alive, evolving-wise, evolution-wise, when they're just eating random plants? Honestly. Maybe that's just because they're domesticated. But, you know, he's not getting up on the... Thing. I've been watching him. He's been also trying to get up on top of a new shelf he got, which will probably end up in the whole fucking thing falling over. Uh, what else? Oh, he, uh, another thing about with Wiley. Uh, he was cuddling on me, and then he got scared, you know, because he's a chicken shit. 20-pound cat could probably fight any other cat or any other thing because he's a huge dog. Gets scared. Launches off my fucking ball sack so hard. It was the first time that I, like... You know the feeling, if you're a guy, of getting hit in the nuts really fucking hard. It hurts like a son of a bitch. And it's the first time I really felt that, like, hard pain since I was on, uh, since I was playing soccer in high school, like, eight years ago. Oh, it wasn't, how many years ago was that? When, I, when that happened? It was, it, like, eight to ten years ago when it happened. And I was playing, and it was like a corner or something, I don't know, but I ended up getting hit. And then nuts by some guy when he was trying to turn, like, his, like, his hand, like, hit me in the nuts, like, really hard. So that was fucking horrible. And then, like, I don't know, five seconds later, the dude tried to cross the ball and just smoked me right in the nuts. So I couldn't, like, I wasn't, I wasn't, like, it was already hurting, but it hadn't, like, sunk in. Because, like, when you get hit in the nuts, it has to sink in. It takes about five to ten seconds to really sink in. So that didn't really sink in yet. And then I got hit again. And oh my fuck, that was the worst of all time. Two in a row. And I just had to, I just like laid down and I was like, fuck. And I just hobbled off the field and I was like, suck me out. I can't fucking do it. I can't hang on any longer. I don't know what I'm doing here. But then I had to go over there and I, all my fucking uh, teammates were giving me shit. Because uh, the trainer at that time, we had a different trainer like all the time. And the trainer at that point was like, the first chick that, or guy, well, chick, obviously, that was not, like, old, honestly. Most of our trainers were, like, old, not old women, but, like, older women, or, like, males. So, it wasn't that big, but then the one time that I get smoked in the nuts twice is this chick. It's pretty attractive. She was probably, like, she was, obviously, she was just like a college graduate, you know, like, 22, 23, something like that, with, like, an internship at the school. And she comes over and she's like, I, what, do you want me to do anything? I was like, nothing you really could do, honestly. We said, so I, was, I just had to get me some ice, but like, it was awkward. And everybody was fucking laughing. It was a whole thing. Oh, shit. Uh, what else? Uh, I watched uh, Atomic Blonde. It was good, honestly. It was better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I, I thought it would be good because it had, got good reviews, but I don't really follow those reviews that much, honestly. It was good. It was like a female Jason Bourne, honestly. It had the same type of, like, uh, the same type of feel, cinematography to it. Fight scenes are great. A lot of props, which I always like. Beating the shit out of dudes with, like, hoses and pens and shit. That's definitely worth the watch, though. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything else? I don't think there is really anything else. I will save that other thing for next week. I'll leave it. It's universal. I'll have to listen, have to listen in for next week about the, the baby name arguments that we have. Because that would go on forever. Honestly. Unless we only have girls, then it won't be that big of a difference. Big of a deal. But uh, I'm going to end it there. Like 10 minutes! Every time I, I was telling Sarah, I tried to get it to like 6 minutes, 7 minutes. No, it's impossible. It's impossible to me because I just fucking ramble like an idiot like I am right now. So I'm just going to end it right now before I keep rambling. See you in a week.